This is Sound Off 60. I want to make sure that the best team is the champion. Yeah. I want to play. And that's key. Uh, if, 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 that, if that tournament comes up with this is the best team, I'm for that. Southwest Louisiana's premier sports talk television show. With me, hey, without hey, me, oh, that I, might be the hey. dumbest argument we've ever had. Today. You I like are the, the way most he does that. idiotic, <laughs> imbecile. <laughs> if you thought that argument did not have merit, look, did not. All right, McCarron. So you talking member. about my LSU quarterback? Yeah. Don't you hear? Put with me, without me. <laughs> Sound off sixty is presented by Tarver Ford and Sulphur. Give us a chance to earn your business, and by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at La Berge Casino Resort. Here are the boys, Rick, Scooter, and Kevin. Welcome back to a more subdued and quiet Jack Daniels at La Berge Casino. Not normally this quiet here at JD. Nobody's throwing anything at yeah. uh, Not yet, anyway. Somebody may sneak in the doors. We, uh, we had a change in production schedule yes. here at Sound Off 60, so we're that or rumor was Gidry wanted to talk about some very serious subjects, so he had everybody cleared out. Basically, those, says everybody, those Jack Daniels, every go home. Then, yeah. I, I said, don't want anybody I said, around. I want shut to talk. it down. Shut it down because I got things, important things I want to say, or maybe he's making a big announcement about something. We'll have to wait and see. I'll probe him later on that. But anyway, before the storm. there it is, Scooter. I like that. Daniels there it is, Scooter. That's how there it raises. That's how it comes see? up. That's it. The Look, of life. you can't see it, but the chefs are now coming in behind us. Yeah. You can't get that shot. <laughs> we beat no, the chefs. It's here. not normally this quiet and subdued at Jack Daniels. No, it's Usually not. a lot of music and the lovely ladies and a, a lot, lot of happening. people eating great food, but we're, we're going to have a quiet show, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Much more subdued show. Maybe. Kind of, it could be like, kind of, I could be like Jim Nance and start whispering, <laughs> you know, like I'm doing PGA <laughs> golf coverage. But yeah. no, we won't. No, it's hard for yeah. me to whisper. I don't know if I can do that. All right, welcome back to the show, guys. Uh, a lot to cover, recruiting, yes. basketball, and i got to get back into the Super Bowl 49 and the hangover or the post game because it's still, uh, guys, it's, oh, still it's, still there. it's still reverberates in, oh, my, it in my head. There's but no anyway, uh, first off, really the subject coming out of, of local sports is still recruiting. Yes. Now, we, we, we say this yes. every year. Yeah. you got the season, and then you got the second season, which is recruiting, and then you got third season is spring football yeah. and fourth season is August drill. So Can't I guess – Postseason, this is second season. Is this recruiting. is what it is. Uh, LSU and McNeese <coughs> dominates our recruiting talk. Let's start with the purple and gold. Uh, in, in the time that has passed, what is your gist of this group coming in? I mean, another strong class. I mean, LSU is always going to rank high. Yeah. A very strong class. When has recruiting ever been LSU? Not problem? much of a problem. Right. Never. Uh, is that going to solve? The problems they had last year. What was their problem last year? We had a quarterback situation. I like that. We had a bell. quarterback. No bell, even. It's so quiet. <laughs> no bell. That's a, that's a, that's a was, really subdued way of putting it. I was taking it, it real like A quarterback a situation. I like yeah. that. No, it was a very, uh, you know, once again, a very good class. I, yeah. mean, I tell you, if you're, if you're strictly a football fan, five offensive linemen, the five, you know, highly yeah. rated, you know, that's yeah. great. Right. right. But who are they going to protect? Right. That's my, that, right. You're right about that, Scooter. Yeah. And, 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 you know, they, they did sign a quarterback. Yeah. Uh, what star? Uh, like Third? Three, like a three you know, star. Like a that, three star, You yeah. know, one that apparently from everything I heard Cam Cameron fell in love with mm -hmm. during, yeah. during camps mm -hmm. and stuff. And that's fine. But you can't expect a true freshman. I was expecting a junior college quarterback. Mm -hmm. Can that uh, still happen? Uh, it's going to be tough. Explain the, the, the time I schedule. It, I, I guess it could. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they can transfer at any time, can't yeah. they? Yeah. yeah. Juco? Uh, you know, more likely, you know, you, you could also have a special situation transfer from, from another, you know, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. right. one A school. Mm -hmm. I kind of think that's going to happen. And I have nothing to back it up. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just the hunch. I mean, if it wasn't going to happen, Miles – wouldn't be saying it's not going to happen. Right. You're, you're right. reading between right. the lines. He right. doesn't anticipate right. it. Right. Gidry, and Gidry, i got to throw this at you. Are you ready? Jack Daniels is quiet. Yes, it okay? is. Yes, it is. I'm putting you on the spot. Do it. LSU quarterback situation mm. that you called it. Mm. I think even what? Miles referred to it as a nightmare. At one oh, really? I think so. Did he really? Publicly? <laughs> Publicly? <laughs> <laughs> what would you prefer LSU to have happen? 
I'm going to ask this. Maybe we'll get into this later on in the show because we got to jump around. That's a good around. question, Rick. But is it a Braxton Miller, Ohio State type that can come in for one year or a JUCO that has obviously skills that LSU is interested in that they might have for two or three? Rick, my, my, my take on it to, what would you to like look to at the state of where the LSU quarterback situation is right now, I think at this point you take whatever you can get to make a difference in your program. Waiting and looking for that person to come and maybe developing that person, I mean, that's great if the situation arises to where that can happen. But if you've got a JUCO transfer that wants to come in right now that you feel can play, such as looking at the compete, recent situation. Or yeah, looking at a Sam's, you know, that was something they had to do. They felt they right. needed that right. to make and a difference. And he competed. And he, and he, he made a difference. He didn't have the job right off. And he, he made a difference. Right. And with LSU right now, with the talent and all the other positions, like Scooter said a while back, you know, why has that been the only position that's caused the most problem for LSU. On the and national level. you can level, fix that, Rick. Didn't mean to interrupt you. On I the think national you got a level, uh, poking around on the internet, again, reports. This is, this is legitimate mm -hmm. media reports. Mm -hmm. I didn't, but, but Braxton Miller, Ohio State, we talked about this right. about a, yeah. what, two or three weeks ago. Oregon may be in the mix. And then there's, uh, yeah. there, there, there is theory yeah. that how in the world, but Urban Meyer could very well have talked all three into coming back. Miller, yeah. JT Barrett, and, and Cardell course, Jones. Well, I think Jones is And even recruits guy, coming in. Another high school quarterback that LSU recruited out of Florida this year is going signed with Ohio State. Ohio State. Yeah, yeah. So I guess they're going to play forward. Well, guess, they're going to have, yeah, yeah. But to, that, to that's answer crazy, man. The, the, the question that's you crazy. asked, Kevin, I, ideal situation, yeah, they'd get a Braxton Miller. For yeah. that or, one year. Or, yeah. the, you know, yeah. the, there's the chance of yeah. Everett Golson from uh, Notre Dame. Right. Although he, I agree. Played pretty well against LSU in the he did. Music City Bowl, but he had lost his starting job. Right, right. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think a one-year fix here. I mean, uh, surely Why by not? then, you, you know, and, and you know, one of the things uh, I really didn't realize, but two of the best uh, quarterbacks in the country are out of Louisiana mm -hmm. this coming year. Yeah, this coming year. Yeah, there will be seniors yeah. next right. year. They're right, right. Good kid at Calvary and Shreveport, mm -hmm. and I forget the other one. Okay, yeah. all right. One's a dual, one's a Mettenberger type. Yeah, and 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 the the timely the timely interruption on that is yeah. in in talking with uh, McNeese coach Matt Viator, and we'll get into McNeese mm -hmm. recruiting in the next segment. But in re reference to the Cowboys not signing a quarterback. And I never really gave this much thought because these guys know what's coming and exactly. what's yeah. in the right. background is right. Well, right. because the reason why, and this is a quote from Matt Viator, mm -hmm. is that the reason why they don't have a quarterback? Well, because their, their, their situation is not as right. dire no, it's as, not. as LSU, yeah. but because there's better, better products and crop of, right. of quarterbacks coming up yeah. this right. coming season in and, high school and, football. And, and, why and, sign a guy now and, when you can get better yeah, in and, another and, year? And, 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 McNeese has to look at it a little different. They don't have the number of scholarships. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. And, or, or I'd say they better. I'd say higher rated right. quarterbacks. Right. Okay. The 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 pool of uh, the pool of talent may be overall yeah. better in yeah. another year. We wouldn't really know that because we're not on the recruiting right. trails. Right. But these coaches are. Oh, yeah. These coaches they are. Do. They they know they what's do. out there. But right. but when it comes to LSU and okay, all right, top whatever. Top six, top five, yeah. top ten class, whatever. What, what, right? L what ratings? Between five and ten. Five, yeah. Running back coach Frank Wilson, mm -hmm. considered one of the best recruiters in the country. Mm -hmm. His specialty is obviously skill position. Yeah. And that at Orgeron. And then you mentioned Kevin Steele is mm -hmm. it their new defensive coordinator. Yeah, also a great recruiter. Yeah. Recruiting, they got, I don't know much about Frank Wilson, but apparently he owns Southern Louisiana when it, he got yeah. Fournette. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, he, he's, he's the man when it comes to the metro area and the bayous, is he yeah. not? Well, well, sure. And, and, you know, they've added, uh, of course, Orgeron and, and Steele. Right. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, everybody knows what the problem mm -hmm. was. Yeah. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Here comes. Three and more I'm, running backs all yeah. right out of that same mold. Ellis, you'll never run out of running Look, backs. They, they will yeah. never. Or scoot receivers it. at and, this point. And I guess yeah. when you look at it, guys, and, and that's all great to have those guys that have a specialty in coming in and getting those kids when they sit in their living rooms and getting them to come to LSU. That's great. But when you look at the big picture, and I go back to what Scooter said, you know, that's all great, getting all those guys in, having a great recruiting class. But if you can't get one position on that entire team to function and a little bit above average, just a little bit above average, 
I mean, is it a waste, guys, to say all that talent we have? Got to say the obvious. But we can't. But we can't put together a winning season. It's. I mean, it's almost yeah. like you got these coaches that are great recruiters, but is it effective? Well, if you can't and, put and, that mixture together with the most you've important got. position on any football team. And then, and, and unfortunately, times. unfortunately, they are in a comparison state because Ohio State just won the national championship yeah. and they're loaded. Yeah, loaded. They How got you get three, three quarterbacks? four, five quarterbacks. That's crazy. You know, going up to Columbus and LSU but. can't seem to get one. And look, we're not discounting Brandon Harris. He's no, young. But he's Rick, got you know ability. What? But will will he pan out? And can he can he understand defenses? And can he call? Uh, you know, recognize. That's all to be settled at a later date. As we go to break and get ready for Cowboy recruiting, Woo. I gotta ask the question. And I'm just going to throw it out there. Come on. With all the receivers LSU is bringing in, what is, Trey Qu- what is Trey Quinn thinking about? I don't know. The former Barb standout? <laughs> I don't know. You know, come on. It's a lot. He didn't play in the it's bowl game. He didn't play a lot after missing some passes yeah. against Alabama. I, I just raised a question. It was a true freshman. I know yeah. that. I'm ju- which school to say give him another year. School to say give him another but year. But he got a lot of snaps in. School to say give him another year. He's yeah. He's you're answering good. the question. I just wanted to raise the question, but you're going to answer gotta it now. Go back. He's got to go back to the, to the spring. Yeah. yeah. And then work hard. He's I understand that. Play in oh, the I know. I'm just, yeah. I'm just saying. Here is a, here's <laughs> yeah. a guy. He's all everything doing. out of bar. Right. And he, got, he played as a true freshman. And they're still signing receivers. What? Dupree is still there. I mean, I know. you know the name. You I know. rattle them off. Yeah. I know. They're just stockpiling receivers and running back. But nobody Doesn't to throw matter. the ball. Nobody <laughs> throw to. No, the throw to. All right, rub against the clock here at a very quiet and subdued you Jack Daniels. Line, we'll be back with McNeese recruiting yes. and a whole lot more LSU basketball, McNeese basketball, one going in different directions. We'll, yeah. Both of them, which seems like. All right, we're back in two. Stay right there. Sound Off 60 is brought to you by Tarver Ford and Sulphur. Give us a chance to earn your business. And by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort. Miller invented light beer, the original 96 calorie Pilsner, and that changed everything. This led to fewer guys with beer bellies, which led to more women attracted to those guys, which led to dates, second dates, wedding bells, and honeymoons, which led to hubbada hubbada, boom, which led to you. Miller Lights, we invented light beer. And you, you're welcome. Hi, we're the Tarvers with Tarver Ford. We just finished a fantastic year in 2014 and we're so excited about everything that's going on around us. But we're not gonna take your business for granted. So in 2015, we're starting out with a bang. Falling gas prices and a booming economy in our area are making your dollars go further than ever. We have a brand new redesigned F-150 and with 0% financing available on all our new car models, a new Ford could be in your future more affordably than you might think. So come see us today at Tarver Ford in Sulphur. Give us a chance to earn your business. Dr. Cassio is my choice. Dr. Cassio is my choice. Dr. Brett Cassio is fellowship trained and board certified in both orthopedics and sports medicine. He has the tools, techniques, and experience to get athletes back on the field to play. Call 337 494 4900. Dr. Brent Cassio is the official sports medicine physician of Sound Off 60. What is it about Luxair cooling products that deliver the comfort you've been wishing for? Is it their energy-saving performance, those super cozy moments with loved ones? Or perhaps it's that great feeling you get in helping those wishing for a little comfort of their own. For over a decade, we've been helping deliver hope, strength, and joy to Make-A-Wish children and families at a time when they need it most. Find out how Luxair home comfort products will make you feel really good this season. 
Luxair, the comfort you've been wishing for. All right, welcome back to Jack Daniels here at La Barish Casino. Sound off 60, a uh, little change of production schedule. That's yeah. why it's a little kind of quiet in Jack Daniels. Usually it's a big party atmosphere. Yeah. Now Kevin can get, Kevin can, can get I mean, on a wild rampage. Better, and really you know, kind of like this, you know, I can make my point and be a little bit more clear with you guys when the tone is like oh, this. Oh, I like that. Because a lot of times you guys just go in different directions. I'm like, reel them back in, kids. Yeah, you're like you got your fishing pole. You're going to try it. Reel them back in. We're like man. you. I mean, you know, we're just, <laughs> it's like one flew over the cuckoo's nest with you sometimes. We're wondering, Hobbs and I, I don't know about Hobbs, I don't know how to speak for Hobbs, but sometimes I'm uh, thinking, man, what in asylum did he just come out of? Look, like let some me, of the things you're talking about. Let sometimes. me use in reference, could I actually have a concussion suit maybe going on here? You guys, when I'm on here and I maybe miss a few things. Whoa! Is that, There's the big is that announcement. Proof? I mean, is that, that proof? would explain a lot. <laughs> that would explain a lot. I like that. There you go. There, you know, that interesting. Would explain a lot. Interesting. Come on I'm, now. I'm get off on a tangent here, but that's what we do at this show. Okay, we're at yeah. a bar. We get off on tangents. We do. I saw an interesting uh, piece on um, on uh, Real Sports HBO. Yeah. A look back at the '85 Bears. Oh. Okay and problems that Jim McMahon and it's, Richard it's real. Dent and yeah. McMichael and a number of their players are having health-wise with You're right, painkillers that were, you know, you got to go. Getting addicted look, to those Real Sports does a stuff. great it's, job on HBO. Yeah. And what I thought about, Kevin, was Come you. On. Really? Because of the time frame. Yeah. You played. Yeah. You played and in the Denver Broncos. You, you were drafted in 87-ish? Yes. 88? Yes. Okay? Yes. So you played. This is the 85 Bears. Is. They won the 86 Super One Bowl. One of the best teams ever to play the game, man. And what, what came out of that was, and, and look, Mike Ditka, the head coach, now yeah. I'm off on a real tangent here. Yeah. You know, he verified. He affirmed that, look. Oh, yeah. They readily handed out pain pills. Yeah. They readily shot up Jim McMahon to get yeah. out there with to put him in the team, arm, man. in the butt, in the knee man. to get this quarterback out on the field. And I thought about and you it in that era back, of football. And, you know, back then, Rick, the deal of wondering what the effects or side effects it would have on athletes wasn't real serious. You know, back then when I played, man, if you got dinged, man, you know, your teammates are like, come on, are you getting back out there, huh? How many fingers I got? Yeah. Yeah. And nowadays, man, they take your helmet. Well, there's a protocol. It's not even a question. There's a protocol they take and a helmet. right protocol. They take your helmet. But I got to ask you, with the Denver Broncos, yeah. which you started at, yeah. if they said, Kevin, we're going to shoot you, we need you today, was there, was, any, was there any choice in the matter? The coach Rolfo wanted to shoot you, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm talking about it, it was, the it pain was, killer it was, it was sometimes put to a situation where you, you need to do this for the betterment of your teammates because mm -hmm. they need you. And a lot of guys couldn't really – back down from that, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, Rick. But there was some guy said, no, I'm not. I mean, I've seen it. Really? To get, yeah. Even in said, that no. era? Yeah. Say, no, I'm not. You know? So I'm not. Okay. And, um, Just wanted know. to bring that up. Yeah. If you, it's it's, it's uh, last, but it last happened installment often, of it, it, it HBO Real Sports. It, it happened. was it really, really it, it was a, a, a bit of a, uh, you know, a, a very enlightening, oh, delightful, uh, uh, especially it was. Jim McMahon, who's, it was. Uh, who's, who has uh, early dementia. He does. And he knows that. He does. He has early onslaught of dementia. All right. Uh, sorry about that. Got, got but that was a good point. Let's get back to football, but recruiting with the McNeese State Cowboys. Uh, 20 recruits, mm -hmm. 21 total with the, uh, with the transfer out of Texas A&M defensive tackle, Isaiah Golden. 20 recruits. I thought it was going to come in a little less than that, yeah. but they were able to get the numbers up with moving, yeah. with, with seniors going out and availability and stuff like that. I tell you, uh, Matt Viator is really high on a, a Brandon ba Blackwell out mm -hmm. of Hamilton Christian. I'm mm -hmm. going to make a tie-in. Right here locally. Right here locally. 1A. 2 yeah. a school. Let's you know a small school. Yeah. Six four two twenty. Yeah. Arms out to here, Span. obviously. Yeah. A true pass rusher from the edge. They want them taller now. Everybody wants length. Well, you defense. know what? I think it makes well, a big difference. backs, big well, wide well, receivers, yeah, big and, defensive and, backs. And, you know, particularly you know in a, in a four uh, four yeah. man front. Right. Yeah. I mean, those defense fins don't have to be two eighty. No, they don't. They're right. Don't. Speed rushers. You need to pressure. You need to pressure the quarterback. Thirty five guys. Right. You know that are right. really kind of like linebackers. And I think Rick. With the way a lot of the offenses are designed right now, you have a lot of little flare passes that you throw, little middle passes, in, in, inside passes. When you've got those guys that's got that span and that reach, I mean, you look at knock the ball down, down. Knock the ball down. Or, that's, or, that's a or at least get a quarterback right you can to do think, that. About, yeah. be, think about reach. I mean, but that's a loss he's down very high on Blackwell and call him a true pass rusher. But mm -hmm. the point is, it's not shocking. Come on now. Yeah. I mean, look, uh, uh, Al Woods went, went to LSU yeah. from yeah. what, Elton? Elton. Yeah, what is Elton? 2A? No, it's 1A. 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 Okay. Yeah. Sorry. It's yeah. one of the smallest schools. Smaller yeah. schools. Yeah. Your point about LSU, I'm going back to LSU, but the LSU quarterback, the three-star, okay. You never know how that's going to develop. And you're right, Rick. You're right. 
Where did Joe Flacco, who won a Super Bowl, who's one of the best in the NFL, yeah, where did he play? He played at Delaware. Yeah. Associated with a, with one of the schools, uh, the, the kid from Elton, he was a five star. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah. saying. I know. Yeah. What I'm saying yeah. is, let's forget about stars right. to a degree. You just don't know. You just right. don't know what kind of and product. That, and and that, I throw up Joe Flacco because he right. went to Delaware right. and look what he turned into. Yeah. Now, he was a great player at Delaware, no, no doubt about it. But, all right, so back to McNeese, high on the Blackwell kid mm -hmm. because, of, because of his physical traits. Yeah. But he comes from a small school. And I think what McNeese needed, they filled. They didn't have to sign a quarterback. Right. They needed right. interior help on the defensive line because right. they lost everybody, it yeah. seemed like, on the defensive line other than, other than the Juco player uh, who, who came here last year. And that's where the Isaiah Golden right. fits, fits in. Uh, big guy. Yeah. 325, 330. Coming out of high school, that is big. Uh, who, who started six, seven games as a true freshman yeah. two years ago at A&M, ran into issues, well-documented yeah. legal issues, and, and was yeah. dismissed from the team because of those right. legal issues. Right. And the Cowboys are giving him a second shot. Yeah. And, and that's not the first player they've done that to, Rick. Pardon? That's not the first player they've done that to. No, not no. The first. And, yeah. and what, what Viator and, and McNeese has, has done is take hard looks mm -hmm. and been very selective. And, yes, going out on the limb when they thought the kid deserved a second yeah. shot, yeah. Uh, believe me, they would have taken Teran Matthew, right? Yeah. That's but, no doubt. but Matthew decided to go another route. Right. No doubt about that. But Isaiah Golden has the yeah. ability and has been around Lake Charles uh, Viator has come out on the record, has, has decided to stay here, wanted right. to be on the team last year. He's got ties here. But wasn't ready yet. Yeah. Wasn't ready yet. He has got, he's got a fiancé that's from yeah. Moss Bluff. Yeah. He well, wants to be Vitor here, and now he's here. Impressed. Vitor would not let him play last year. Yeah, yeah. that's impressive. You're right. And, and, of course, they were loaded on the defensive line interior-wise. They had a lot of talent. There. Uh, you know, I didn't really give him much hope of ever, right. you mm -hmm. know, sticking around. And Vitor was impressed with the fact that he stayed. The season ends. Well, he's still here. He's still yeah. here. Either he really wants to be a cowboy, or that girl's really got a hold on him. You're right. You know, <laughs> you family. Right. Well, look, one way or the look, other, he's still right. around. Because exactly. he's from Carthage, Texas. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, he's regionally based, but you know, a, 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 right. her family is here. Support yeah. system for oncoming yeah. kids. That whole thing is in the mix, that and it's good for the Cowboys. For it is that this this guy is a SEC talent. That's no doubt. Uh, with a lot of eligibility remaining, and hopefully he's got his personal life in order, and now his collegiate life with the, with the Cowboys. So that that's can a make big a difference deal. For that kid. Now the I'm Cowboys locally, look, we 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 talked about this. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot of talent mm -hmm. outside of mm -hmm. outside of what the Cowboys got. Right. I mean, Living's from Barb. Right. Corey from Barb. Like Blackwell Barb. from Hamilton yeah. Christian, uh, and a, a little known tight end from Sulphur, mm -hmm. Austin Nelson, yeah. who played maybe. Two years of, of high school football right. with baseball and mixed in. Yeah, he's a great baseball guy also. They kind of the center coach to look at somebody else yeah. and he kept raving about Yeah, it. yeah. Yeah, and it's like, Sulphur has a tight end? Yeah. yeah. Nobody yeah. knew. 6'4", 245, we might yeah. want to take a look at him. So the Cowboys were able to have a good, much like LSU, yeah, I do believe. fill the voids, didn't need a quarterback. <laughs> Daniel Sams is coming back for the spring. Yeah. They've got two other senior quarterbacks. So where they need to rebuild, they got the depth. Yeah. The question now is, much like what we talked about with LSU, is will true freshmen play? Yeah. And they you know, played we, at LSU, yeah. and, you know and, and Viator is play. playing them at in McNeese. This, well, in this playing them at play, McNeese. 17 played last year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. true freshmen now, yeah. true freshmen. I mean, Rick, like we said before, you know, in this day and age, it's kind of hard to hold the kid back. If you can see the potential of him being good at a very young age and understand the concept of what you're doing, it's 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 all but a no-brainer to say we've got to play this kid if he's going to help your team. If he's going to help the team, you have to. if he's going to help, you have to. And we'll leave it at this. When it, what, what shocked me, not so much I didn't I didn't dissect LSU's, but I'm sure I'm sure they have it. Is McNeese continues to try to get and sign defensive backs six yeah. one, six two, That's six size, three right? receivers six two, six three. You don't see now. Yeah, they got a few running backs, the scat backs. When you but they they want height. When you they have to play size. a southeastern that's got receivers six four and six five, you better find some defensive backs. You better backs. <laughs> exactly, especially in the south one with all you these transfers. You better find some defensive backs. With all these that transfers, size, you never know what you're going to yeah. face, even yeah. in the south end conference. Have to. And and can't can't go to. without mentioning Lewayne Ross from yeah. Texas, a tailback who is the little younger brother of Ryan Ross, Ryan Ross. six one two fifty. That's big. Who can that's run big and for catch? Tailback. Going to be interesting that's to see big, if this man. guy can break the lineup as a true freshman. Remember that name. Another Ross yeah. is coming to the Cowboy backfield. All right, we'll take a short pause. 
We're talking LSU basketball and Kentucky, big blue and purple and gold. What a game. When what we a come game, back to right. Jack Daniels, stay right there. Sound Off 60 is presented by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort and by Tarver Ford, Begless Parkway in Sulphur. Get your free American Press app today. It's all at your fingertips. News, sports, advertising, entertainment, and video delivered through your Apple or Android mobile device. Capture the informative power of the American Press, Southwest Louisiana's premier source for news and advertising. Get your American Press app today. Download it for free through your iTunes or App Store. You'll love the look and feel of our newest digital offering. The app flawlessly delivers the local news most important to you in a new, striking layout. Get your American Press app today. Hi, we're the Tarvers with Tarver Ford. We just finished a fantastic year in 2014 and we're so excited about everything that's going on around us. But we're not going to take your business for granted, so in 2015 we're starting out with a bang. Falling gas prices and a booming economy in our area are making your dollars go further than ever. We have a brand new redesigned F-150 and with 0% financing available on all our new car models, a new Ford could be in your future more affordably than you might think. So come see us today at Tarver Ford in Sulphur. Give us a chance to earn your business. We know it takes 21 days to brew a beer with the perfect balance of lightness and taste because that's how long it takes to brew our beer. It's Miller time. Choosing your doctors and healthcare professionals is an important and personal decision and one that you should feel totally comfortable with. Hello, I'm Dr. Trisha Guidry and I'd like to welcome you to our clinic where your health and well-being is our top priority. I'm a board certified OBGYN and a graduate of LSU. My dedicated staff and I would like to invite you to call for a consultation and appointment. You will experience the trust, comfort, and medical treatments you deserve. We are Dr. Trisa Guidry. All right, welcome back to Jack Daniels here at LaBarish Casino. Sound off 60 talking some basketball. It's about time, dead gummit. It is. It's here. It's, you know, I know the Super Bowl was last week. It's here. Let's talk some basketball. Yeah. We're going to get on the blue and gold of the Cowboys. Struggling. They are. LSU. They are. Well, okay. They lost. But what a game, guys. And you guys yeah, were there. Kentucky. 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 Yeah. Number People one think Kentucky. We normally take this on Mondays. Yeah. Yeah. And that wouldn't have happened. That wouldn't have happened, but Wednesday it did. Wednesday morning. And, uh, yeah. Tell you. What, a, what a game. Uh, what a game and what an atmosphere. Really? Huh? I mean, let me, look, the, one, the one thing I've realized, I know you can see a difference maybe sometimes when you play in an arena where the home team has the advantage. But to go into a basketball arena and clearly see the advantage is in the home team's favor, mm -hmm. which always is normally now, when, Kentucky, when you're at remember, home. Kentucky's used to that. They are. They're they the are. traveling they circus. Are. Yeah. They are school. So wherever they go, they suddenly schools but, that have trouble getting a, yeah, a core sell, sell out. Sell out. Yeah. We, got, we got all excited when LSU went up on them right at the beginning, man, and say, what? Really? Is this happening? Well, and, no. and you can Kinda tell Kentucky. Kind of so, and you can tell Kentucky's like, what are y'all getting excited about? <laughs> you know, it's like, well, they got some we got this. Now. And I tell you what, the only thing I think that LSU had a problem with in watching the game was that the inside, they clearly outmatched LSU on the inside. I mean, you when, couldn't stop but them. But I thought you LSU, stop LSU well, LSU did okay. They did, Scooter. The and they, they did. What you have to remember, Kentucky is so dominant inside with all of those future first-round draft picks. It's hard to stop. And, and that's LSU's game, too. Yeah. You know, LSU's an inside team. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they don't compare to Kentucky's no, inside game. No. But that's what they do. No. Mm -hmm. So that, by all means, had, you know, ugly game written all over yeah. it. You know, a 20, 25-point Kentucky and win. And it didn't happen. And it didn't and happen. It, and, and it didn't happen. And they I stayed think, in that game. Yeah. Uh, I mean, had a 16-0 yeah. run against yeah. what amounts to a NBA development. That's, right. no, that's right. no doubt about it. I give a lot of credit, but it, but it was interesting on a lot of levels to me. Uh, I even, I, I'm not, I wasn't sure they, LSU had to win, but I likened it to Groundhog Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say in that, <laughs> all right, this was the game everybody had been waiting on, okay? If LSU won or, let's say, Accorded themselves well. Right. Well, they can have four more weeks of basketball. If not, baseball starts. Baseball starts Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Uh, 
But they did. Huh? They did they acquit did. themselves no very well. well. And 71 I, I 69 a, against number one a, Kentucky. I haven't seen that, that assembly center uh, percolate. Jumping like, like that. that. Right. Yeah. 10 years, oh, 12 years. Oh, yeah. no. Uh, it's good to see more games yeah, in there than 12, I have. But yeah, it's. Yeah. Yeah. Back, it's, maybe back to the Stroh Miles Swift yeah. days. That, that team kind of comes. Okay, up. LSU basketball this year with uh, Derrida's own Johnny Jones as head yeah. coach. Look, they had, they had some nice, they had some wins this year. I mean, good. they're what, six and five yeah. in the SEC? Yeah. You, know, we'll say this, you know, 17, this 18 wins so far. totally the last, uh, I guess, three games mm -hmm. that, that I've been. You, you saw, and I'm not talking about the team. I'm talking about mm -hmm. the program in that the fans. Right. Yeah. Uh, they've been building toward that, and obviously it's because of Kentucky. But I mean, the last three home games, they have had what I would call encouraging crowds. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a noticeably better uh, game atmosphere, mm -hmm. home court advantage, right. if you will, than than the last few years. So here you're big on you're big on all that 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 chemistry and the you crowd. Know, just and so, what I'm saying. I know that. Is, I know, but. You know, I mean, I wrote it when Johnny Jones got the job. Mm -hmm. I wrote it when Trent Johnson got the job, almost since Dale Brown. Yeah. You know, it's been 50, and it's an SEC problem. But uh, I'm wondering if LSU basketball became relevant again mm -hmm. in this in this country. Well, game. playing games like Kentucky, you know. Scooter, it can definitely make it relevant again. Well, when you're number one in the brings, country and it brings a lot to that the table, yeah. Well, but, not but, not and, only that, people are talking about this is maybe one of the best college teams ever, you know, with Kentucky. Well, look, they hadn't had an undefeated team since the 76 team of Indiana yeah. and Bobby Knight. Mm -hmm. right. They could very well go unbeaten. That's been a long time since an unbeaten and, team. I don't know about putting in that perspective. But back to LSU. Let me ask the obvious, okay? Did the sellout crowd, did playing number one Kentucky, did it elevate the Tigers' play? Oh, sure. no, no they, they lost that. against oh, Auburn. Oh, but oh, now they come no back and almost that, beat number one. So <laughs> there's uh, this no is the obvious question. There's they no played doubt. up. There's to no the doubt. competition, well, sure they, and they played up well, to they the crowd. Have, they, that has been kind of their mo this year. They have played, they beat West Virginia yeah. on the road. West mm -hmm. Virginia is very good. Team. Yeah. Uh, they but they've also played down there. Auburn's a fast yeah. basketball yeah. team. Yeah. And yeah. LSU got beat at home. So they did. So 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 that whole cliche and adage: you yeah. play up and play down to your you, competition. But you can't. I mean, it, it makes came a to fruition in this game it is. against Kentucky. And, and I mean, when you looked at it, I mean, just being at the game, you clearly could see, like Scooter said, that LSU were outmatched. I mean, those two big guys they had in the middle. I mean, you couldn't stop them. But the thing that I said at it LSU, funny to watch Kentucky. <laughs> they just. Five it, in, it's five, it. five out. in. That's yeah. how you do it. Johnny Jones looking down at the pitch. I think maybe he maybe that one. In. I gotta you ask know. you guys. You were at the game. You know. I, I'm big on. I'm big on tying the game. Yeah. They're down by two. Well, Jarrell Martin is it 21 well, points? But Rick, 11 boards, double double. Yeah, but Rick Hornsby with that, seven points. First option. Look. Okay, but, but let me ask you this. You were at the game. Yeah. Okay. Was the option to go for two? I know they had seven or eight that seconds. That was the first option. That was the option that to go first. for to tie the game. Yeah. yeah. But and Hornsby which had I, to take the three. I okay. Like yeah. the three though. I like the three too. I mean, really? Well, he, who's really? the better team? Who's the better team? Yeah, Kentucky. Kentucky. You knew that. Right. So win it? You would you? Don't you have to win it. You want to take one shot there with a chance to win, or you want to go five more minutes? Yeah. It, as it's close clearly. as they were playing them, even though well, they but, had a drought near the end. I think. Well, they hadn't scored. I know. I'd go for the tie. I think, I'm yeah, big on Rick, going for the me, tie. Me, Rick, Rick, I'd go, Rick, for, the I go for the three because I like, I like school. Obviously, like Jones that. wanted to go for a tie. You said the first well, option. Yeah, well, but, but, you know, that, that shows you they, they had a plan B. Yeah, yeah of course. The, but the, the thing play is, they yeah. drew up. Right. And, I mean, Hornsby got a – give give he, a okay, There wasn't anything if inside. He, yeah, okay. You know? If he could have posted up, I think he could have had any shot a little bit off balance, but was falling back a little, a little bit. But – if anybody was going to take it, Hornsby, he was the guy that I think was going to take the shot. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, I'm with Scooter, Rick. If, if, if you get those guys in, in, in an overtime, no. Five minutes, no. Really? I take that three. I'm just talking about I staying in the game. I mean, if you can game. take that three and hit it and win it, oh, my God. But, man. but it was well defended by Kentucky. You know, well defended. It was. Well, it, it was. was. But, but, but I disagree totally with you. Really? All the, because mean, of I, the overtime? Because it's number one I would, Kentucky? You I want to win it I right? take the win. I take the win I with three. Go ahead and win the game. Yeah, I take the win with three. Not, All not, this. Always the path of least resistance. No, yeah. no, I'm just saying you know, LSU but, was competitive in this game. Oh, they game. were throughout the they whole game. They were down by two. I mean, Kentucky only led that one time when he went up on them. But, I mean, LSU. So, I say play the extra five. Yeah, but, you know, when you look five. back at it, Rick, your odds, your odds, of, your no. odds of going against a team that you know 
has got the advantage inside. Obviously, Johnny Jones agrees right. with me. He we, was we, going we, for two. We, Take know, the three we, and win we, it, baby. We, Take the three we, and win we it. I agree that Kentucky is far more talented. Yes, I agree. And deeper yes. than yeah. LSU. Yes. Although I did not notice that LSU got fatigued. Mm -hmm. uh, far more talented. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Now you want you what? got you got one shot to beat them, or yeah. you're gonna. You're gonna run the five. You're gonna turn it into a five minute with what? Rick, I'm taking the three. Rick. Run the five. I'm taking the three, Rick. And I'm going home with the win, Rick. Nope. I'm Four taking the three and I'm going home with the win, Rick. Wrong no. Wrong again. You're never. Uh, okay. Dingy, dingy, you're Take wrong. Take the three. <laughs> Take when the Johnny three. Jones comes back to Lake Charles. Take the three. And he comes on sound off 60. Please remember this game. Johnny's gonna say, will. Rick, we needed to win. Take the three. He went, was planning to go for the oh, two. He was. I mean, it was the safer route. It was the safer route. There you go. Safer route. But. You don't want to get in five minutes with those guys. No, no. you want to get in five minutes. You don't. You're playing that well against those boys. All right, we're going to get on a McNeese Cowboy basketball when we come back and a few other yes. things. We've got to revisit Super Bowl 49 <laughs> and a whole slew of other things, too. For you golf fans, we'll go, we've got a little golf on tap tonight, too. All right, we're coming back in two to Jack Daniels. Stay right there. We are worldwide, 365 and 24-7 at soundoff60.com. Sound Off 60 is presented by Jack Daniels Bar & Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort and by Tarver Ford Sulphur. Back after this break. Gold. It's the color of quality. The color of taste. The color of a true Pilsner. Let your eyes drink it in. When you want a real light beer, it's Miller time. Dr. Cassio is my choice. Dr. Cassio is my choice. Dr. Cassio is my choice. Dr. Brett Cassio is fellowship trained and board certified in both orthopedics and sports medicine. He has the tools, techniques, and experience to get athletes back on the field to play. Call 337-494-4900. Dr. Brent Cassio is the official sports medicine physician of Sound Off 60. After a few icy seconds, you'll discover the light beer brewed for 21 days. And that's time well spent. When you want a real light beer, it's Miller time. Uh, welcome back to Jack Daniels here at LaBarish Casino. The date, mark it down. Get that big calendar, circle it. March yeah. 21. Mm -hmm. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. She's coming Write back. it down. You don't even say She's Goldberg. Whoopi. Everybody knows her as yeah. Whoopi. All right. It was uh, uh, scheduled, I think, last year. Yes, it uh, was. Due to some coming. conflicts Cushion in Hollywood with yeah. Whoopi Goldberg, whatever. They had a reschedule. It's coming up March 21st yes. here at LaBerge Casino. A legendary performer. It's going to be fun. For legendary LaBerge, Whoopi be Goldberg. March 21st. Whoopi. A lot to talk about here at LaBerge Casino. Yeah. Got to mention favorites. Does the restaurant. It's new. I bet you Some she can. people have said that, but I've, I've never heard her sing before. What is her show? I mean, it's going to be a comedy show. She's still an actress. She yeah. does that. Uh, I know she's it's going to be a comedy actress. deal. Comedian. Yeah, oh, comedian. comedian. Yeah, it's oh, going to yeah. be a comedy you know, deal. Whoopi yeah. Goldberg's a comedian. Come on now, Scooter. You know, she's a great stand-up comedian. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. That's you're her. Right. That's her background. Yeah. A stand-up comedy. Yeah. But um, uh, look, she sang when in that Nun movie. There you go. She did. Look, oh, watch it, Scooter. I didn't. I didn't watch it. I've never seen it. I'm not much on musicals. Here's another Cerro tangent. But, but, but the wife did. tells me I gotta watch this uh, Les Mis. Okay, the musical. Obviously, it's a musical yeah. with Russell Crowe and Hugh Jackman. I've now, if Russell Crowe can sing in Les Mis, serious? I think Willie Goldberg can sing. I mean, these, these like, this is like Les Mis Russell Crowe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not saying Willie Goldberg is doing Les Miserables. Maybe, you, maybe. <laughs> I, would, I don't know how I got I off. I can't on imagine that. Russell but Crowe anyway, doing that. No, I can't. Favorites, uh, it used to but be Lake Cafe. It to Les I'm trying to get on okay. with this promotion, yeah. please. Okay. Favorites restaurant now open here at Lake Casino. Rick. All new, all new, renovated in Asia. Yes, Asia, Ooh, supposedly Asia. the finest it is. Asian cuisine. I'm telling you. I think this it is, side Rick. of the Great Wall of China. I think it is. I'm okay. not just saying. <laughs> that is the one he place knows. that probably is the business out of all the restaurants we have here on property. That Asia. one is probably the it's business. It's bigger probably and business. renovated. Yeah. So there you go. Mark all that down in your calendar on must things to do. Yes. All right, before we get into McNeese Cowboys basketball, 
Um, Adam Henry, former yes. coach oh, yeah. at McNeese State, mm -hmm. uh, receivers coach at LSU. Yeah. He's been there three or four seasons. Is leaving uh -huh. the LSU coaching staff to go to the 49ers, go yeah. back to the NFL. He spent a few Great years with the Oakland Raiders yes, before he did. returning to Louisiana to yes, coach with Les Miles at LSU. So he's going back to the Bay Area. Yeah. How big of a loss is that uh, from a standpoint? Look, look what they have in receivers. Adam Henry is an up and comer. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, well, I'd say up and comer. He's here. I, the, the, Depends on who they hire. Exactly. I mean, you never know with the Les Miles mm -hmm. because yeah. nobody ever, even I, I assume he, it was Adam Henry's decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but you never know with Les because when he, meaning well, uh, if it was school Les's says he doesn't disclose much. <laughs> if it was Les's decision, you never hear that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just okay. Okay. To take other jobs. Yeah. And but you, I really get suspicious when it's at best a lateral job, right? Yeah. Uh, or, or even you know downsize. Yeah. Uh, this, I mean, this makes sense, right? Yeah. Adam mm -hmm. has an NFL background. Yeah. Maybe that's yeah. really what he wants to yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, LSU will get. A, a oh, good I'm sure they will. Yeah. With all that talent. And, and, oh my gosh. And good luck for you know. Yeah. Adam. Adam Henry, uh, you know, the San Francisco 49ers. Now, you know, they're, they're with, with the departure of Jim Harbaugh, they're, mm -hmm. been, you know, yeah. they're been on a downside. So yeah. they have a new head coach out there. And look, I, you know, it's good. Look, it is. he's I got many ties. Yeah. He's, you know, he's uh, LSU, obviously. He's going back to the NFL. There's no doubt. All that is good. That is. You know, you know uh, Rob Sale leaving the McNeese good Cowboys for, for the University of Georgia yeah. to be their offensive line coach. That's great. Bad yeah. for the Cowboys. It's bittersweet. Yeah. You want a talent like that. But well, sure. good. Because look what McNeese can look at exactly. the, the coaching tree of Viator. Yeah. Now, you know, part Sale is part of LSU and he's part of Alabama yeah. under Saban, and now he's at University of Georgia. Spread the word, if you will. I totally agree. That's a, that's a great thing. I just wanted totally to mention agree. that. Good luck no, good and, and, and kudos to Adam Henry. All right, and the McNeese Cowboys. Guys, basketball. Uh, they lose to Nickel State on the road. Uh, with that loss, they had a chance to go uh, to run their winning streak to three yeah. straight. They didn't. They lose to Nickel State. They go back earlier this week to New Orleans to play UNO, which is literally almost in last place in the conference, and they lose. This it's has tough. got to be the most frustrating year. I can't speak for Dave, Coach Simmons. I know Dave is but having really a time because of I the. I, I keep pointing to three senior starters and yeah. all that. Le and look, I mean that's some talent. You can't no, tell me are. Kevin uh, Hardy and Deshaun no, Gidry. Kevin Hardy, you know, and, 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 you know, and, and does not have the, yeah. uh, not, uh, have the talent, know, we, kind of talent I, they need. I think and I Keelan mean, Garrett is a, is a, is a solid player and, and in watch the, the Cowboys. It, it seems like, and I don't know if it's true for the Cowboys, though, but it seems like when there's a big game that's coming up or they know that they've got to play, sometimes it looks like the Cowboys do play to their opponents mm -hmm. as to how well they play. Stephen F. Austin. Yeah. And At home. I, I don't know why, but it just seems like, I don't know if it's a motivating factor that you've got to put in these kids' heads to say, well, look, guys, look, this, this win right here could change your guys' entire season. And I'm telling you, if LSU beats Kentucky, I mean, all is forgotten. Well, I mean, I know the LSU, and LSU's LSU's not having a bad year. Okay. Real soon, yeah. But just for the fact that, you know, a lot of times I think it's all in these kids' minds where you, you've got to motivate them to look beyond what it is that, they're playing on the team that they're playing this in front of them and just play it like this any other game and just play to the best of your ability. Nine and 13. It's tough. They, they, three they've had a tough year. and eight in the conference. They, they've this had a tough is year. a lousy year. They've had a tough With year. With three man. senior starters, not a whole lot of depth. Yeah. I granted that, but three senior <coughs> starters yeah. and, and a, 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 a Burr at point guard and then Austin Lewis, who is yeah. limited, big kid, but yeah. limited. We know that. Yeah. But again, this is a disappointing year for the Cowboys, and it's yeah. got to be extremely frustrating no. for Simmons. No. How do you press the button every to get all these guys and that's playing what's key, hard? Rick. And that's what's every key. game. I don't. I don't know if you go in and say, guys, you know what? We're going to have a new arena real soon. We need to put this program back that's on the map. That's going to make them play hard. I don't I mean, you know. That's good, but I'm saying we need to be more relevant because of the fact that we've got to fill this place. Look, they're going to make a lot of different other because, things because, because, look of, at because of the conference to use. and because of you know. Uh, guys, uh, teams not being able to post season right, play. Right. They're going to make the conference. Okay. You know what I think it boils down to? You know, look, we talk about sports. We yeah. all kind of play our sports on yeah. the weekends. It is a confidence game. It is. I mean, no, it when, is. When, when, when I'm playing golf and that driver is working, then pretty much everything is falling yeah. in line. When a driver yeah. sucks, everything, it's a confidence and, game. And for these guys, they're sitting at like three and eight in the conference, yeah, it's nine tough. and thirteen. It's tough. If, if that was reverse, if they were having above five hundred, you play and, and know and that do, they can Rick, compete. That's what I'm saying. I think it Rick, would make a do. difference. Rick, but you when do. you're in a hole, 
the hole gets deeper. And you know, Rick, when you like that, Rick, losing the, point, the, UNO, the point that I've seen on. against a lot of athletes, when you <coughs> like that, not winning and down, you tend to play a little bit cautious because you don't want to put yourself on a worse note than yeah. what it is already. So you, you just can't be yourself when you're fighting the odds of not having a winning season and yeah. trying to get back up to that winning status. It's tough, man. It's like, it's like when you have a defensive team that's got their foot on the throat of an offensive team because they just threw an interception the series before. You go at them. Are, are, you, you, buying at into them. My, are you buying into confidence? You have to have that. Are you that, buying right? into my argument? No, you have to have that. You have to have that. With a team that's struggling like the Matanese Cowboys, if, it's they, tough. Could, if they would have beat, like it's you said, tough, Kentucky, right? if they would have beaten Stephen F. Austin Man, look, at home, look, Stephen F. Austin's going to make the NCAA tournament. Yeah. This is our very good match. Yeah. They went to well, round two win. last yeah. year. I know that. But they went to round two last year. Yeah. Or in but, the NCAA. They beat somebody. I can't remember who yeah. they beat. Uh, obviously, a higher seeded team. We're talking about Stephen F. Austin. Right. So if they would have beat the Lumberjacks at home a month ago, we might be having a different. Look, we might be talking differently about you, the Mountains. When you That's look at the saying. game last night, Rick, against about a I know. Against I know. LSU, should've. I know. What it could have should have. And, and uh, Kentucky last night. And what you say is a good point, Rick. The confidence in the world would be like we beat the number one. Team I know. In the I know. Country. I know. Uh, That's Kentucky twenty-four and zero out of eleven and zero in the country. Keith Hornsby. I mean, I didn't realize this. Back to LSU. The, yeah. the son of Bruce Hornsby, who is yeah. a great yeah. musician, yeah. Bruce Hornsby yeah. in the range. He's that the little, son of Bruce that Hornsby. That little kid is good, man. I don't know if everybody knows that. That little kid is good. He's, he's a good little kid. He's pretty good size, isn't he? Yeah, he's a good well, little kid, yeah. man. Well, he's next, about six feet. He's a Kentucky guy. Not yeah. very. But. No, he's like 6'3". Six, six, yeah, he's 6'3". Six, six, he's got okay. some okay. He's got okay. some bulk to him. He's a good size guard. Yeah, yeah. Keith Hornsby. All right, up against the clock. We're going to take a short pause. We'll come back to Jack Daniels. Stay with us. Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort, home of Sound Off 60, and Tarver Ford in Sulphur. Give us a chance to earn your business. Round five with the boys coming up. Hi, we're the Tarvers with Tarver Ford. We just finished a fantastic year in 2014 and we're so excited about everything that's going on around us. But we're not going to take your business for granted, so in 2015 we're starting out with a bang. Falling gas prices and a booming economy in our area are making your dollars go further than ever. We have a brand new redesigned F-150 and with 0% financing available on all our new car models, a new Ford could be in your future more affordably than you might think. So come see us today at Tarver Ford in Sulphur. Give us a chance to earn your business. Get your free American Press app today. It's all at your fingertips. News, sports, advertising, entertainment, and video delivered through your Apple or Android mobile device. Capture the informative power of the American Press, Southwest Louisiana's premier source for news and advertising. Get your American Press app today. Download it for free through your iTunes or App Store. You'll love the look and feel of our newest digital offering. The app flawlessly delivers the local news most important to you in a new, striking layout. Get your American Press app today. We know it takes 21 days to brew a beer with the perfect balance of lightness and taste because that's how long it takes to brew our beer. It's Miller time. All right, welcome back to Jack Daniels. As we mentioned earlier in the show, subdued, quiet, don't get the wrong it impression. Is. Our production schedule changed this week, so we're here it's and it's fine. not open. It's, it's not like open, but we're here. o'clock in the morning. Yeah. We're here, though. That's and way too early I, to be doing this. I know that, but I appreciate you coming off the bed. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to say IR. You're always on the IR, it seems like. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, we, it, we've covered a lot of it. ground before time runs out. Yeah. I've got to get back on Super Bowl 49. I keep looking at it, guys. I keep looking at the plays. I keep well, looking at the curse catch. And by the way, you're wrong. You are wrong when you said after our Super Bowl postseason show, he didn't know where the ball was. The man had his eyeballs on the ball the whole time. He did. Oh, the whole time. Jermaine Curse of the Seattle Seahawks. Oh, yeah, he did. Jump, he did. He said, oh, his head was in the, you said this. Oh, his no, head he was, was in the turf and he went up the ball. The ball hit his knee and popped in Dude, front of his face. Dude, look at the tape again. His no. eyeballs are on that ball. His face is upright. He's got, he's, he was he's watching great it. focus. He was watching it. Look at it again. Yeah, I looked at it. He was, right. he was watching it. He was watching it. was pure luck. No. Great focus. It great popped up on him, Rick. It was No. Wrong luck. again. No, I don't think it was that much. But luck. I keep I looking, looking at these focus. plays. He looked at it. I keep looking at, at it. it. Now, it could have been taken away. If the safety just backed the ball out, we got a whole different game now. Yeah, Browner should have hit him. But it all comes down to 26 seconds and the call. And now there's post-game speculation that what was Bilicek thinking? when he didn't oh, call yeah. a timeout. Well, I was we shouting that at the yeah. TV I know. when it happened. Yeah. I know. 
He's got to give, you, you gotta give yourself clock. time. You need to give yourself time if you get the ball back. I know. I know. But he did. Give yourself time. And nobody's asking but, um, any question because Malcolm Butler pulled yeah. his butt out of a crack did he when ever? he made the interception. Did he ever? It's just an amazing finish. And, Some are and calling when you look it the back, best Rick, ever. You know, and, and everybody knows Pete Carroll, real brash guy, real outspoken coach and everything, man. But the thing that I think that probably kind of shocked me was that the interview that he did with Matt Lauer on, um, on the NBC. Today Show. Yeah. And it's like, as a coach, do you really want to put yourself out there and front stage like that to discuss an issue that everybody's saying how stupid can you be but he did it no i i applaud him but he did i it. applaud him but i mean I you know for, me you know, rick i'm i'm laying in the cut do? Go i'm laying in the cut rick said hey look you know i'm just no not going to hold but i mean can you imagine to go out there and talk more about it it's like coach we saw the Have game too what were you thinking of it's a, from a Sherman. living room no it's from a living room no no but bunch of Seahawks no. fans no. watching. No, it. no, no, I didn't. And the guy said, "It is when the when the clip picks up, the play's already happened." Yeah. Okay. And they're just stunned. Really. And the guy's sitting there. They got the <laughs> big screen too. Yeah. Yeah. I already yeah. know what's coming. <laughs> yeah. The guy's sitting there and he says, "Are you kidding me? <laughs> we got Marshall Lynch." Over yeah. And the, you just see the Steve. He runs and Good jumps. No. Through the TV. Come on. No, we got to see that. I can't. A big screen TV. A big screen TV. YouTube. God. But it was like in a box. Oh, you know, my gosh. Oh, yeah, the, the, the screen just. He Are you jumped serious, through Scooter? It. Through. I mean, he did a body block. Really? No, way. no, I got to look that up on YouTube. You do not throw a pass at the goal line when you have Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> No, it was it was that shocking to a lot of people, man. I got to see that too. Oh no! Oh no! The play happened. I mean, no, I'm I'm talking about the jumping through the TV. I don't know. I don't know about that. Wow, that's that's taking it serious. But that's the NFL. That that this is a Super Bowl, and it really was. Guys, and the thing about it, you know. Wow. The thing about it, I know it's a team sport. I've been there, guys. I How do we Google that. that? How do you Google that? Man, Seattle fan jumps through man TV? Man jumps through TV, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know what, Rick? The thing that I question myself is that what is that locker room going to be now when you know you've got players, veteran players, that's shaking their heads saying, what was Coach thinking, man? Well, well they, get, they get paid. They get the, the checks man, come in. School. And look, they want a they Super Bowl school. with him. Yeah, a lot of yeah, second I mean, guessing. I mean, it was we're a not, boneheaded We're not play. saying Peter's a bad coach by no means. Are yeah. we saying that? But at that point in time, you've got veteran players saying, huh? He's yeah. going to do what? He's going to throw it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to know what that sideline's like. And did you see Sherman's face I mean, when he. Best I can tell, though, I mean, Pete Carroll is sticking with his story. So he said yeah. he made the call. Yeah. He, he, said he, the call. he said he yellow. made the call. He said he made the call. I mean, he of, owned it. And I don't know if he we owned made it from mention day one. of this. I remember, we, you know, when we originally did this, we were talking with Matt Vietor, and I, you know, I asked yeah. him, you know, yeah. you know, you've got uh, plays that but you still. Think, wake up at night dread and uh, regret it, it didn't take him long he said the third down call yep. against nebraska and yep. he also it, yeah it, this is i mean uh matt uh very young age won a state championship mm-hmm. in Jennings. yeah mm-hmm. uh and he was talking about uh he remembers very little about that game right. yeah he said but after a few years later it's so brother they lost in the semifinals yeah. Yeah. Finals, it was. Yeah. And he you said, do. So that game still haunts yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Of you the do. loss but, and the calls and he's playing. That's coaching. Yeah. That's coaching. All right, up against the clock. When we come back, we'll talk more about uh, the NFL. The state of the NFL, you. the issues still looming in the NFL. Uh, Johnny Menzel in yeah. the news. Greg Hardy. I mean, the, the problems are still there. It's still How about percolating. The Benson still, family feud. And, and the Benson family. That, yeah, that's more, ongoing, more talk man. and lawsuits. Ongoing. We've got to get back on that. And, and Unbelievable. De- still nothing new on Deflategate. I wish it would just go away. I All think right. it will. We're going away for a couple of minutes, but yeah. we'll be back, back to Jack Daniels. Stay right there. Sound Off 60 is presented by Tarver Ford Sulphur. Give us a chance to earn your business. And by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort. 
Hi, we're the Tarvers with Tarver Ford. We just finished a fantastic year in 2014 and we're so excited about everything that's going on around us. But we're not going to take your business for granted, so in 2015 we're starting out with a bang. Falling gas prices and a booming economy in our area are making your dollars go further than ever. We have a brand new redesigned F-150 and with 0% financing available on all our new car models, a new Ford could be in your future more affordably than you might think. So come see us today at Tarver Ford in Sulphur. Give us a chance to earn your business. Dr. Cassio is my choice. Dr. Cassio is my choice. Dr. Brett Cassio is fellowship trained and board certified in both orthopedics and sports medicine. He has the tools, techniques, and experience to get athletes back on the field to play. Call 337-494-4900. Dr. Brent Cassio is the official sports medicine physician of Sound Off 60. Is it about Luxair cooling products that deliver the comfort you've been wishing for? Is it their energy saving performance? Those super cozy moments with loved ones? Or perhaps it's that great feeling you get in helping those wishing for a little comfort of their own. For over a decade, we've been helping deliver hope, strength, and joy to make a wish children and families at a time when they need it most. Find out how Luxair home comfort products will make you feel really good this season. Luxair, the comfort you've been wishing for. All right, welcome back to Jack Daniels here at LaBerge Casino. Covered a lot of ground, guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, LSU basketball, Magnus basketball, recruiting, and, and the whole like a uh, little bit on PGA Tigers golf. Tigers played well last night. Um, the Tigers. Speaking Tigers of Tiger, well. Tiger yeah. was in PGA golf. Uh, you know, we're getting closer. You know, yeah. uh, the sun's finally out. It's turning warmer. We're, you know, tournaments on the Jason Day uh, won last week at the at, at Torrey Pines. Won a two second uh, playoff. Second you know playoff. Where they're hole. playing this week? Pardon? You know where they're playing this week? Help me out, Pebble. Yeah. Yeah. Pebble. Yeah. Yeah. You know, who played Pebble over the summer. Oh, Scooter. going okay, back to Hobbs. Oh, Scooter said he played it. I enjoyed watching the Golf Channel this week. Yeah. Some of their previews. Yeah. They're, you know, they're going through the course. That right. must have been yeah. a good experience. Well, I remember so. that course. Yeah. I remember course. the uh, shot I hit. Save all that dead. ego trip yeah. for you for I next week's show after the Pebble guys, Beach yeah. at yeah. Jason Day is a talent. He hadn't won a major, yeah. but he should have already won. Yeah. He is a talent. He's a good guy. He's, you know, Australian kid. Tiger Woods, though, kind of. You know, Torrey still Pines, his those? course, and had to pull out with back spasms. Still, still going, probably. You know, I mean, you know, Tiger Woods will always kind of always be the, one of the headlines if he's if he's playing if or he's not playing, playing that, yeah. until he gets out there and start competing. Um, I just think he's got to just get his head together and just kind of, you know. Leave the swing alone. Yeah. Leave the swing alone, my God. Sometimes you can overthink things, man. All right, I think back, Tiger, to, back to the NFL. Johnny Menzel going to rehab, all right? These guys... I, we're not Cleveland Browns country, yeah. but 10 seconds. These guys now might have to spend another first-round pick on a quarterback. You know how much that puts your team behind, your program, your organization? Oh, but Rick, my, that's just but let me say this. mind-boggling. With, the, like with, the mind with the Browns, with the Browns, Rick, you know, when you drafted him, you knew that you had some problems, <laughs> issues. You looked at the talent scale versus attitude, and you said, oh, What did I tell you guys? What, no, but, you're doing my graph now. Yeah. What did I tell you guys? But Johnny Menzel will never be an NFL no, he won't. quarterback. No, he won't. But I think he the, won't. I think the excitement that he brings to the game will sell tickets. Oh, just and I and I think you're crazy. That's, no, that's and I think you're that's, crazy. Wins will sell wins, tickets. Wins will the sell Browns tickets. suck. But I'm thinking they bought in somebody who they think they could put people in stands. Apparently, of what they he thought did he could play the quarterback, did. Kevin. You bring in well, a guy to. Because you think you can win with him. And Do you think can. you can win with Johnny Menzel? No. Did you think that when well, he drafted him? No. I, no I, way, Scooter. Apparently they no did. way. I didn't see anything no this year. It was to sell tickets. To, it to make it you think you can win with Menzel. But, I mean, he was a rookie. I mean, I don't care. You keep using care. that freshman rookie. You knew what you were getting with Johnny Menzel. You got to let it go, Scooter. Well, look, yeah, you got to let it go. There. The man has stripes. Yeah. He ain't losing no stripes. Rehab or not. That doesn't necessarily mean he can't play. He can't play in the NFL. 
Okay. He can't. I'm telling you, he mark can't. my words. He can't play. He can't play in the he NFL. He can't play. Switching, switching gears. And you can? No. <laughs> but I can tell you who can and cannot. Yeah. Joe Flacco yeah. can play in yeah, the Joe NFL. Joe Flacco can. All right. The, the Benson story and the whole thing. And this, that's this, how this can guys, I think March 13th, the lawyers are now. Well, he's the got judge to go before a doctor. He's got he to go before a doctor. before a medical exam. Yeah, We're talking about St. Tony Tom Benson. It's a sorry, a, a, so, a sorry, sad tale when you have family getting cut off and all this but stuff. But that's what money can do to you, Rick, sometimes. Even Who family. controls well, this billion-dollar right. empire? Money this can is do a miniseries. It is. Yeah. I mean, and you now the, the wife has control, supposedly, yeah. and, and Rita LeBlanc and uh, Renee LeBlanc and there's Orion LeBlanc, the grandkids. You it's know, getting, it's, it's getting not going to affect the Saints on the field. No, it's But it's ugly. an interesting subplot. Not immediately. No, but not immediately. You're right. Well, you, Long term, it and who controls right because who franchise. controls it then determines what happens to that team. <coughs> That's right. I mean, As to what direction they go in. That's so right. it could make a difference it's later just, on down the road. He's 80, uh, six, he's up in seven, something yeah, like he's that. He's 86. He's up when, in eight. When, eight you know, yeah, he's got to go before medical to to, to develop. It's uh, sad, to Rick. I mean, it's, it's, it's sad, it's Rick. Sad. Well, it is. I mean, the guy. I mean, he. I don't. I, I, that's a waste of time. I mean, I think he's mentally incompetent. Would hope so. Yeah. I mean, I, I talk with some writers yeah. that are around him a lot. Around him a lot? Okay. Yeah, and they, I mean, they're not around it's a him power a whole play. lot. It's, it's not a like power you play. have access to him every right. day. Right, right. But, I mean, that kind of came out of left field to a lot yeah, of this is, you know, this, this is, look, Benson has turned into a powerful owner in the NFL. Yeah. Okay? I mean, he won a Super Bowl. Yeah. He's got a team, and he owns, he owns the Pelicans. Mm -hmm. He owns pretty much all of New Orleans when it comes to sports. So this yeah. is an ongoing story. But March 13th, remember that date. He goes before a medical doctor to it's determine competency. All right, that's going to wrap gonna up this tough. show. Great guys. Yes. Had a great time. A-game show. Yes. All right, here at Jack Daniels. It'll be much more lively next week. Yes, so everybody come back. It's Mardi Gras next week. Yes, it is. Bring, Bring your beads. beads. Bring your beads. Bring your beads. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bring my tux. Sound Off 60 is presented by Tarver Ford and Sulphur. Give us a chance to earn your business. And by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at La Berge Casino Resort. Sound Off 60 airs on Suddenly Cable Channel 60 Monday through Sunday nights, 9 p.m. And again Saturday and Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Sound Off 60 also airs throughout the week on Communicom Cable Channel 6 at 9 p.m. across southwest Louisiana. Check your local listings. Post your questions and comments for the boys and access our website links at soundoff60.com. <laughs>